So I am going to test uh, him for true HB meter for hemoglobin and for RBS I am going to use this glucometer. So a patient uh, cannot be diagnosed with this red so we have to test for HB and RBS. So first of all what we are going to do is uh, we have to switch on the true HB meter. It will take 7 seconds to, uh, to switch on. So we have to continuously, continuously press on the power button. After we will get this code which has the same code on the bottle. So the same code is there 097 the same code will be there on the equipment also. So after this we have to take one of the strip from HP strips bottle. And then we should uh, touch the power button. Then we can see this uh, symbol like it, it's uh, glowing. It's the one uh, that's showing. We have to put the strip now. And then it is showing the blood mark. That means we have to drop the blood here on the sterile area which the light is glowing now. So after that, uh, the patient came with generalized weakness now. So I'm going to check him for the RBS also. So we have to insert the RBS strip too. Then we are going to need uh, lancet and some cotton. So we have to take the patient's hand and we have to explain him that I am going to uh, check his blood for HB and RBS. Okay. So I am going to check him. I, I also explained the patient that I am going to check his blood for RB and HB, RBS and HB. So the first drop. Uh, which is serum now so that's why you have to check for RBS then we are gonna clean this drop then we are gonna take for the third droplet so the droplet should cover the this testing area We already got the RBS. The HB beta will take a whole minute for the result, so we have to wait until the minute is up. Okay, this is how we get the RBS result and HP result.